Well, everyone, give yourselves permission to relax. Give your body permission to relax, slow, and breathe all on its own without you taking charge of anything. You know, when you sleep at night, your body does all of that all on its own. When you're going through your day or through your evening, your body is always breathing every moment you're alive. So we don't need to tell our bodies how to breathe. Our bodies know how to relax when we don't get in the way. So invite our bodies, invite your body to be in control. Invite your body to be in charge of itself so that you can relax along for the ride. Your body is managing itself. At this moment, give your body permission to relax. Give your body permission to just release whatever is not necessary and relax. If you feel any pain or discomfort or vertigo or anything, acknowledge it and give it permission to deal with itself. Give it permission to manage its own issues and let it know it's invited to relax. Give your feet permission to relax so that all the energy that's in your body can just flow on down through your body, down your legs, down through your feet, into earth, where our beloved Pacamama, Gaia, absorbs your energy, delights in it for what mother does not want to be there for her child. And this is our divine mother. She transmutes your energy into the highest frequency of love, then sends it out to the planet. You'll notice all the energy is flowing through your body and out through your legs, through your feet, deep into earth. You feel very naturally the top of your head begins to open. It may become light and airy, a little tingly, as your crown chakra opens up to invite all of the beautiful, sacred, divine, loving energy to flow into your body and through your body into earth. So that all the energy in you no longer needs to be your energy. The energy flowing through you is beautiful, sacred, divine, lunar energy from the cosmos, the galaxy, from our divine Earth Mother, who is also Mistress of the Moon. Invite all of this beautiful energy to flow through you. You'll notice this is beautiful, clean, pure love energy. You are welcome to absorb as much of it as you like and let it flow through you, radiate around you. Your organs, your chakras can absorb it so that they can even feel fully satiated and energized radiance.
I want you to use your imagination. Imagine that you are high up on a mountaintop on a perfect new moon night. It doesn't matter where your mountain is. It may be Arctic or desert, tropical, forested. Just allow the mountain, allow the mountain top, the beautiful new moon night to appear to you. You may find that this mountain will shift as we go forward, that's all right. As our energies shift, sometimes the environment also does. But you're on a beautiful mountaintop, your mountaintop. Inviting all of the beautiful night air energy of nature magic and the moon, the galaxy and the cosmos to come flowing to you in the highest frequency of love. Allow your imagination to absorb it all. Let your senses open. You can hear the stars twinkling, night animals, letting the world know that they're awake and nocturnally active. You look around and you see where the light from the moon and the stars hit and where there's shadows. You may see silvery areas, streaks of light, darker of course than on a full moon, but not pitch dark, as long as we have the celestial skies have light and look up at the stars see the constellations the beautiful sliver of a moon the crescent rising up tonight sister moon is bringing her a moon her chariot up very quickly so she can make her way to the top of the sky and then hover there for the duration of our time together. You can see the moon rise up, find its perfect spot amidst all the twinkling stars. And the mandalas, the lines of energy flowing through the constellations. Sister Moon finds her perfect spot to stay and resonate with all of that grid of, of galactic energy. Connect in. And then shine her beautiful new moon light down upon you. Just as your energy with all of this beautiful divine love, sacred love that is flowing through you, you can feel yourself opening, sending energy back to Sister Moon. Both of you are reaching to each other your energy, the moon's energy, join together. You are full of love, 
And Sister Moon is full of the baby whispering dreams, the hopes and wishes for the weeks to come. Just invite your heart to open. Invite your mind to open. And invite your energy to connect with Sister Moon. We've all had times when you connect with someone in such a way that you feel like you are one together. That you are like one at the same time. Your thoughts are one. Your feelings are one. Your actions are sync, in sync with each other. You're in alignment. Invite Sister Moon to become in alignment with you. So that she may feel what you're feeling. Send her lunar tendrils down into your heart and your mind to bring her energy to your dreams, your hopes, your wishes. Invite Sister Moon's energy to filtrate down into your being. And like mist coalescing, blend with this beautiful divine love. And then come and cradle your wishes, your dreams. So that you and Sister Moon may look upon your wishes together. Invite your awareness. Invite your awareness to gaze upon the wishes and dreams that you and Sister Moon have found in your heart, in your bosom, in your mind, your pineal gland, your third eye. Take a moment. Take a moment and just be aware of these dreams and wishes. Allow them to rise up and present themselves to you. Look upon your wishes that naturally occur. You can pick through them like little seeds to see which are ripe for planting. And if there are any that you hope to add, any that you had preconceived you would like to bring into this ceremony, ask them the pre-planned wishes, if they would also like to join with these seedlings.
Take your seedlings. Put them over with Sister Moon. Invite your awareness to rise up. Rise up wherever you're comfortable, either higher on your mountain, or your mountain may be higher, or rise up to sit on Sister Moon beside her, or rise up to the clouds, wherever you find yourself comfortable. Rise up. Take your little dream seedlings. Put them in your hands. Sister Moon takes her hands and puts them under yours or around you. Look at your little seedlings and breathe life upon them. Breathe life from your breath from your heart, from your minds, from all of that beautiful divine love flowing through you, from your being. Breathe life upon your beautiful little seeds and watch it as they activate. Sister Moon is breathing upon them as well, her breath, her essence, for love. Breathe. And then when you are ready, the two of you together, blow the seeds. Blow the seeds to fly out. Fly out so that they may find their home. These are dream seeds, wish seeds. Some of them may fly in the air and come back into you, into your heart, your mind, your body. Some of them may expand and multiply and go out in many directions. Some of them may be flying to those you love and care about and wish them to do well and be well. Or some may be flying to earth to heal situations or the planet our environment, your little seedlings fly out. Some little seedlings may have been a simple little wish on one little seed, but with your power of love, as they go out, they multiply a million fold. As you and Sister Moon sit together, blowing and watching as your seeds Go out there, go out to you, to those you love, to the world, to the dimensions. as you and Sister Moon sit together. Think about the dreams, the seedlings of dreams that you have sent out so that they may become fruitful, multiply, blossom. They can drop their own pollens. They can flourish so that Elements of nature can come and feed upon them. Think about your wishes that land upon 
mandalas on our planet energy grids. What of your wishes land upon the mandala, the mandala of love? Continuing to send love through our planet. What of your wishes land upon the mandala of peace and help feed, nurture peace in our planet and flow to places that have peace so they become, may become even more powerful with their sharing of peace to others and to places on our planet that need peace and are hungry for it. Your wishes are helping to nurture them. Think of your seedlings that have landed upon our planet, bringing necessary energy to the elements, the oceans, the land, the animals, so that they may absorb this energy to help them as they go forward with their life paths, their manifestations, their energetic, loving, and physical living needs. Think how far your seedlings of wishes, your seedlings of well wishes, are spreading this energy so helpful, so kind. Sister Moon is grateful for always, always she's gazing upon our planet and always she loves our planet wants all life on earth to thrive. Sister Moon takes her hand, puts it upon your chest, your heart, takes another hand, puts it upon your forehead, your third eye. You can feel the love, the energy, the powerful loving energy that she sends in to you with this touch. She sends her energy in to support and help with your seedlings for yourself. They're flowing and coalescing within you to support your personal dreams, your daydreams, your wishes, your fantasies, to become your beautiful, loving reality. Invite Sister Moon's energy to flow in, mix with all that beautiful divine love, for Sister Moon at this stage is the creator of dreams, is the burgeoning start of hopes and wishes. Invite her energy to fill your being, spark extra life, extra essence to your little dreams, your manifestations, your wishes. Relax, let it all happen, and watch as your dreams find their places in your body to settle. Perhaps your root chakra, or dreams that wish to be close to earth and nature, or very grounded and dependable, or in your midsection, your sacral chakra, in your lower belly. For the dreams that wish to be creative, receive lots of messages. Inspire your instincts. 
or to your solar plexus chakra, your upper belly, for the wishes and dreams that wish to be action-oriented, to make things happen, or to your bosom, to your heart center, to bring love, or to your throat chakra, for self-representation, not just with the words you speak, but self-representation in all ways so that your beliefs may be expressed and understood, valued, effective. For in your mind, your third eye, to fill you with visions, to help you understand as you grow your dreams what nourishments they need and to have faith in yourself. Your crown chakra, to continue receiving inspiration, divine essence, intergalactic, interdimensional love and wisdom. Allow your awareness just to be in your body, in these lovely little dream seeds that Sister Moon is filling your being with her energy to help them find their places and sprout from little seedlings of dreams. You and Sister Moon have connected in a beautiful, meaningful, effective, impactful way. You have become one. Whenever you connect with anyone like this, there's a permanent love. And of course, I'm sure many of you had love already, and now it is even more. It is greater. Sister Moon will appear to you through the coming month, either in a random thought, or in your dreams at night when you sleep, or just a feeling and understanding. For the two of you are tending this garden of your dreams, your wishes together. You can expect when the moon becomes full, Sister Moon will arrive to help you to manifest, to open up your heart, and allow all of these seedlings to connect with what in your life or what in the world is ready to come to full reality. Anytime you have a thought or a feeling or a craving to go outside and look at the sky, even if it's daytime, you know Sister Moon is 
always circling our planets. She is always there. Allow this love between the two of you. Be something that you can store in your being, in your heart. A powerful magic for dreaming, healing, being one with the wonderful magic of the night. You may share your mutual gratitude with Sister Moon. Make plans to meet again if you'd like. Honor the lovely seedlings that the two of you have planted together within you and for our planets and for wherever else your seedlings went to in our universe or other dimensions, elsewhere in time. And allow yourself to gently return To yourself. You may find yourself floating down from the moon to your mountain, from the mountain to your chair, returning back into your being, into your body, into your mind and your heart. But you still have that lunar magic in you. The divine love is within you. Your wishes, your dreams are within you. As you go forward, now, through the coming weeks, try to take time to stop and honor the dreams and the wishes that are growing within you. Invite them to reach out to the world. Listen to them when they tell you things you need to release from your life so that they may flourish. Just as any garden needs its nourishment and it needs to be weeded. If you have weeds within you, your little seeds of dreams and hopes and wishes will point them out. And you'll find how easy it is to remove them because now your focus, your awareness is on growing the positive, joyous seeds of hope, of dreams and wishes. The weeds become easy to remove. yourself a big hug for having accomplished such a wonderful feat. It is a courageous thing to dream and hope and wish. I'm really proud of all of us. There are enough people who don't. But for those of us who do, think about the energy that we put out there. Think about all the people who will start 
dreaming and hoping and wishing. Once they learn how, you're welcome to share. Share this process with them. Really all it takes is to look into your heart and say, what do I want? What do I want for me? What will fill me with joy for me? And then separately, what do I want that will fill me with joy because others are doing well? What sort of doing well must be out there for me to be filled with joy for this? You may not be able to fix the entire situation, but you may find helping in a small way can make a big difference in your emotions. When your emotions are filled with love and joy and gratitude and that wonderful feeling of well-being, then your effect always has an impact of love and gratitude, joyful well-being, happiness, I thank you for joining with me. And I wish you all the best, most wonderful gardening and manifesting of your hopes and dreams. Be gentle with yourself tonight. Drink a lot of water. Be kind to yourself. Listen to your little voices and thoughts and emotions and ask them, what are they doing? Because we've stirred them up, we've dug in the soil. You may find that there is some anxiety-inducing thoughts that will creep up. But why would they creep up now when you're doing manifestation gardening? It could be they're asking for your permission to leave your body. That they're old anxieties that got stuck in there. They don't need to be there anymore. They're ready to get out so they can go off to their next karmic cycle of existence. Or it could be that there's insecurities that are going, wait a minute, you're nourishing your body now? I want a little of that. Can I get some nourishing? Can I get a little of this like manifestation magic? It might be time to examine your insecurities, your fears, your anxieties and say, what would you like for me in my life as it is now at this moment? What do you need to feel good? What will make you happy? You'd be surprised. These anxieties are like, I am so tired of being a downer. Could we please switch me in the opposite direction to be a dream, a fantasy? Everyone else gets to be a fantasy of you. I want to be one too. This is your time. Your time. To bring your dreams into your being so that they may become your reality. Thank you. Thank you all so much. And for those who are interested, um, I will put in the, uh, the link here, um, the link for those on Facebook who would like to join with these programs. Uh, we have a whole variety of free programs and this one in particular, the video will be available as well as more videos, uh, including full moon manifestation. So if two weeks from now you say, I'm ready to manifest stuff, where's Benita? We have a video waiting for you already. And for everyone, tomorrow, Sunday, 
um, what is today? Today's June, uh, September 20th, 2020. At 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're offering, I'm offering a program to go see your future lives and learn what you need to do in this life so that your next life can be really well set. The techniques we're going to use in this class can also be applied to your life in this life going forward. So you'll learn what can you do in the here and now so that later in life you're going to be well set. It's, um, you guys know I, I am a seer. I see the future. Well, the techniques we're going to be doing tomorrow are very comparable to uh, what happens when I see the future. When I see the future of our planet, when I see my future or my future lives, I'm going to share a lot of personal techniques and secrets with you. And I'm putting in a coupon just to make sure everyone feels comfortable and can afford to take this class. Use the coupon code LOVE-20. I'll put the information in the comments of Facebook and I'll email it to all of you uh, who are here on Zoom with me. Love 20, get a $20 off. So tomorrow's three hour program is just $30. Um, and if you already bought the program and you didn't know about the coupon, let me know, we'll work it out. <laughs> okay. I wanna thank you guys so much. Thank you, have a wonderful night. Nourish yourself, nurture yourself, love yourself. Bye to everyone on Facebook and everyone on Zoom. Stick around so we can have our goodbyes. Oh, well, thank you guys. Thank you so much. I have some lovely thank yous from you all. And um, if anyone has any questions or requests, um, I am Happy to be here for you. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you all so much. Um, and I'll tell you something. For those of you who have cards or do pendulum work, like tonight will be a great time for that because you are so open and so connected and flowing. You can pull cards or work with a pendulum. It will be amazing. Well, have a lovely night, everyone, and thank you. This was really special for me. Bye.